in this part, we're going to look at kemi or the, the way of receiving, the way of responding, um, but more specifically, roles. In our official YouTube channel, whether you're watching this through the YouTube channel or, or through the through television, uh, on the YouTube channel, you can find um, many different kemi tutorials we specifically did, which are very in depth. There's a lot of details to them. So if you feel you need extra details there, which, is, which normally is the case because uh, Ukemi is not so easy. Uh, so please do go there. Uh, our channel is Aikido Shoulei. Um, you can find it here above. You can write a text. But, uh, but just to give a short introduction to Ukemi, some ideas, some, some basic principles to start with. But first of all, I want to say that obviously Ukemi, there's, uh, when rolling, there's, there's some danger. But most of the times, uh, the, the trouble comes when you're either afraid or when you're ambitious. That's the way I say that. The, that's where the trauma comes. That's where people most of the times hurt themselves. When they're afraid and they tense up and they, and, and they do it and the tension is just, uh, or the hesitation doesn't allow them to fully perform the movement and they hurt themselves. Ambition is when they decide, you know what? They feel that they're not ready to do this, since he showed jump over five people and the person feels that okay he's not ready but the ambition says you know, everybody else does it I train for years I need to do it too and then I do it and then I hurt myself so so first of all when you train Ukemi uh, let go of fear let go of hesitation and don't go to ambition sets very important if you want to stay safe so if you are in a bad day if you feel some pain when you roll just don't roll you know, stop Ask your partner not to throw you, or just uh, if, if that's uh, not allowed, stop the training. Make sure you respect your body. You can better miss one day of training and recover and train for a month rather than train one day, hurt yourself and not train for one month. So, so be conscious about that. So some key principles is, first of all, notice that all rolls are based on being round. A square doesn't go so nicely, doesn't roll, uh, in a good way, a ball or a round shape does. So when you're when you when you practice rolling or when you start to practice rolling, make sure you're round. If the back is straight, you're gonna go like that. You're gonna go flat on the back. It's gonna be painful. But if you round and up your back here, now it can roll. So actually, this is a good exercise to start with to warm up and to feel that round feeling. So round your back, arms in front. One leg is under, other in front. So just allow yourself to, to roll back and forth a few times with one leg, then the other. Then from here, you can actually continue on to the backward roll. Now in the backward roll, there's something very important, especially when you're, when you're learning. Take note that the backward roll goes through one shoulder. It doesn't go through both shoulders. So, so per se, if I... If I roll back, if my head is straight, shoulder straight, I roll here. If I try to roll back through this way, I'm gonna hit my neck, I'm gonna tense my neck and injure it. So be careful, don't do that. When you, if you want to roll properly, if you want to do a proper backward roll, you need to make sure uh, you go through one shoulder. So normally, if your left leg is in front or the front leg, that means you're gonna roll through that shoulder. This, this leg, you're gonna push and kick back through that shoulder uh, over it. So, so front leg goes over the same shoulder, left leg, left shoulder. Now, in order to make space for it, your head can either tilt to the side, to the opposite side, or you can just watch at the knee, then naturally it makes space here. Also, slightly tilt away from that knee so that everything is lined, making space for that shoulder. Arms go through it at the same time. If, if, arms, if you have the arms here, they're gonna fall nicely on the ground at this moment. It's gonna also give you the momentum to roll. You can also that you're trying to touch with the toes, the mat over and above your, your shoulder. So, so make sure the head is not in the way. Arms, leg, push up and back here. So uh, I push myself nicely with the arms. Also, if your toes are up, then you go on the toes here. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's then a good roll. It's oftentimes a mistake to go uh, too much through one side, to, through the side, so we really have to go up and back. But again, 
these are just basics. Make sure you don't hurt me. If you need more advice, you can check our channel at more in-depth tutorial. Now, as we roll forward, uh, you could we could roll from the shoulder, placing down the shoulder, but, but the more general roll is from the knee or standing. So a few tips not to get hurt yourself here. Again, no fear. If you're afraid, this looks quite far. So in the beginning, there's, there's a distance here. So if you're afraid, the body is psychologically gonna want to make that distance shorter and your arm is gonna bend and that's not a good way. Now this, look, it's not round, it's square. You're gonna hit your elbow. Then you're gonna hit your knee. You're gonna hit your, your shoulder. You're gonna hurt yourself. So it's very important, first of all, that the arm is straight, that you don't bend it. Do you remember that? And also the arm is looking towards yourself. Now there's a bit of a round shape here, but don't bend it, keep it straight. The other arm, you can hold your weight on it. To, it's kind of a safety way. And then as you roll, make sure the arm is, is again straight and it's gonna, you're gonna roll through that all arm. Not just on the shoulder, not over both shoulders, but through that arm, through that shoulder, straight arm, push yourself, roll over that arm. So many times people injure themselves because they, they try to shorten that distance, they bend the arm, uh, they don't maintain a round feeling, mm, uh, they're too square and they hurt themselves. So make sure you don't do that. Arm straight for the forward roll, for the backward roll, head to the side. Again, if you need more tips, uh, check our channel, write questions. Or you can always be happy to answer, make requests. But, but these two things, if you get them right, probably they should protect you from many dangers and give you the initial space for training the roles and being safe while doing it.